Hey guys, this is Rich from Pacific, and I'm back at you with another UO video. And today I'm going to show you a quick little trick on how you can create a customized UI in Enhanced Client to give you warning messages when uh, Virtue Bane or the Blackthorns captains are going to throw their ash attack or their explosion attack. Um, so if you're like me and you're kind of playing those, and I'm not always playing, paying attention to the chat, so sometimes it's hard to see any of the overhead chat, um, especially on the roof, when you're fighting Virtue Bane. So I'm going to show you how to use the custom UI feature of Enhanced Client to create your own uh, UI modification that will do exactly that. will send us a panic message whenever Virtue Bane is about to throw his ash attack. So uh, a few things to talk about before we get into this. Uh, first of all, uh, this making custom UI modifications using the enhanced client uh, custom UI feature is complete, we, completely within the terms of service uh, with Broadsword. So it's not really, it's not, it's definitely not against the rules of the game. It, you're not going to be able to do anything that really allows you to um, cheat or anything like that. So these are really just UI or graphical and sometimes sound modifications to the game that will make your life easier if you use them properly. Um, uh, it's kind of surprising that not a lot of people do make modifications to UO, uh, Enhanced Client, because it is very, very configurable. In fact, what they've done is in the game uh, folder itself, so in my computer I use you know, C Electronic Arts is the root, and it is Ultima Online Enhanced is the folder, and it should look something like this. And it's the same folder that has the executable for the game when you install it. So there's a folder called user interface, and this is what is tied into the custom UI button or feature of the client. So it comes with these two files here. Um, one is the documentation, so I highly encourage you to look through it. It is very, um, it's not well laid out, it's in HTML, so it may look a little funky if you don't uh, do a few things to make sure that the documents run properly. Uh, but the information is in there about how to get started with this. Um, it doesn't really lay out a lot of what's in the customization options, so some of that is, is really trial and error, and it is a little frustrating. Um, but fortunately, I've got a little bit of experience with software and software design, so I was able to reverse engineer a lot of how that's put together. The second file is default.zip, and this is really the collection of files that you can customize in the game. So what I've done is I've kind of zipped these, unzipped these off onto another folder somewhere. So in my case, I just moved, I unzipped the contents of default.zip into another folder on my system. And it allows me to kind of look through and see um, what things I can change and what resources are available. And then what I'm going to do is also make sure that I, I make a new folder called, uh, I'm going to call it Rabid Sniper 1. That's the name of my custom UI. And in it, I'm going to have one folder called Source uh, for right now. So if you look through, um, so the, uh, before we jump into that too much, um, the way it works is that with your custom UI folders, you only should have the files that you've modified. You don't want to move everything that's in this folder into your new uh, UI folder. You only want to move the files that you've modified in some way. So, um, okay, so we can look in here and we've got a couple interesting ones. One of them I'm going to look at is textures here. And you'll see it has these B DDS files, which are graphics, graphical content. And you can see, like, hey, here's the in enhanced client. If you get an artifact drop, um, certain thing, it, there's something is displayed on the screen, and then this artifact graphic comes up, and there's a little sound effect. And here is my panic attack. So <laughs> when Virtue Bane throws his ash attack, when he tells us he's going to do it, I want to throw a panic and alert me both visually and through the sound effect that he is going to attack. So that's a good sign. And the file that you're going to want to find, I'll, uh, you know, I'm not going to go through customizing UI entirely. There's 
thousands of files actually there's about 1700 in here the one we're going to want to make a copy of is text parsing dot lua or lua text parsing so what you want to do is just make a copy of this and put it into your source uh, folder uh, now I've already done that now I'm going to go ahead and um, point out that get, getting yourself a good uh, text editor for this is uh, a definite boon. So I use Notepad++. It's free. You can download it um, and install it. It works excellent, has multiple tabs, color coding, um, pretty good for code. So the second thing uh, before we get open this file is that this is code. Um, if you're not familiar with programming or code of any sort, you know, don't be scared by this. Just follow these steps exactly. So you want to go ahead and open this up. And I'm going to maximize this. You'll see a file that looks like this. I have it kind of zoomed in. Um, and what you want to do is look for the section that says center text or center screen text so in my file it's line 276 you want to find that line and then what you want to do is add this bit of text right here and what this is saying is it's a little bit of code that looks on the screen looks for any text that's being displayed and if it finds the words you will burn to a pile of ash then it will call the panic um, center screen texture so you don't really have to understand uh, any of the code here you can just copy this word for word add it exactly where i have it here in the file and you hit save um, actually i'm going to shorten mine to just say burn to a pile of ash all right okay so now i should have uh, in my user interface folder on the UO game, I should have the name of my custom UI. I should have a folder in it called source and this one text parsing dot Lua file that I just modified. Um, so then when you open up your game client, um, you will have an option that says custom UI and you should see the name of the folder you created in that user interface folder. So go ahead and hit OK and then log into the game normally. All right, so now that I'm logged in, um, I should be able to type something, say test. Yes, it comes up on the screen, so I, I didn't break anything in my customization. And now if I say burn to a pile of ash, ah! you can see the panic uh, alert came up and gave me a sound effect. So this is very helpful while you're fighting Virtue Bane on the roof. Um, especially as a sampire because um, you may want to mount your swampy if you're dismounted you may want to you know run off the screen a little bit so that you're not um, getting paralyzed those sorts of things uh, it's also very useful in um, blackthorn's castle or excuse me blackthorn's dungeon um, because some of the captains um, will also say the same thing. I think it's the alchemists or the mages. They will potentially burn to a pile of ash. Uh, burn to a pile of ash. Ah! Yep, there you go. So hopefully that was useful to you guys. Uh, I may do a little bit more customization here. It seems kind of interesting. Um, I'm wondering if I can make some sort of Sampire specific uh, UI customization to make my life easier when I'm running this character. I'll, I'll let you guys know. Thanks a lot.